Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Come on! Come on! Oh. Need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. There's too much smoke. Oh man, I can't get out. Ah, hi there. My name's Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet, and I bet you weren't expecting this one, huh? A little bit of a sleeper PC, but more so. Today's video is all about gaming on a CRT. And you can already see that there's a little bit of a problem here. Uh, the world's favorite game ever, Apex Legends, uh, it doesn't seem to want to run in 4x3 aspect ratio, even though it's set like that in the, the, the options. But yeah, we go into the settings, and uh, I'm running modern hardware in here, modern-ish, sort of. We'll explain in a second. But we can see here we're running at 1280 by 1024 which is the max resolution of this beautiful Samtron monitor 17 inch CRT which is 16 inch viewable <laughs> and uh, yeah it's uh, energy 2000 certified digital or diagonal and horizontal pitch and um, it's Mac and PC compatible you can see we've got a nice little access menu here it's actually in really freaking decent shape but yeah 4x3 aspect ratio, I don't get, like if I hit that, what happens? Yeah, oh, it squishes everything. Oh, well maybe that would have been a better way to play, so let's try that. But uh, I wanted to see, you know, everyone loves CRT monitors, they're so fast uh, to refresh, they're so beautiful, <laughs> you know, they're, they never dim over time, they're not very heavy, you know, stuff like that, widely available. No, they're definitely not. It is extremely hard these days, as I found out, to find a working decent CRT monitor for a good price. Uh, you can find them on eBay these days for anywhere from $250 to $500, depending on the model. And uh, I was actually uh, going to drive an hour away to pick one up, but I think the guy got wise to the prices of these monitors and he decided to, to ask $200 for some crap computer, didn't even know what the specs were, had a, a more modern case than this one. And uh, you know, then it had a, like a 17 inch you know, screen, didn't have any pictures of it on or anything like that, wasn't willing to let me even test it. And it came with a Tandy uh, tape deck and a bubble jet printer, all for the lovely price of $200. And I told him to go screw himself, so I put, a nice little Facebook, here I'll only do this guy, I put a nice little Facebook post up asking if anyone in my hometown had a CRT kicking around their attic, I would pay some decent money for it. And a lovely gentleman actually came to the table, here we'll turn this down a bit, and uh, he set it up, this is going to look much better actually, uh, so that I could grab this thing from him. It was dirty, but it was in really good shape, took a little bit of cleaning up, and you know me, uh, I you know, could have just hooked this up to my test bench, uh, but oddly enough, there uh, isn't a way to hook up a very modern uh, graphics card to a monitor like this. VGA has gone the way of the wayside. Now, I could be wrong about that, and of course, I'm jump master because I'm talking here, because um, there is a way to hook up DisplayPort to VGA, but everyone knows the standard uh, DVI. Uh, to VGA connection, and it's got to be a dual link DVI connection as well. Uh, so it can't just be like any, you know, some modern cards definitely have DVI, but whether or not they can connect to the little adapter that allow you to hook up a VGA monitor, that's a whole other thing. So um, I decided to go pretty new hardware, but actually put it all in this case from the era, which I think looks really smart. And we're running a Core i7, but in only an 860, and a GTX 780 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, SSD. We're able to obviously play at the you know decent settings here, max resolution, uh, 1280 by uh, 1024. And uh, I, you know, I'm going to say it's definitely over 60 frames a second for most of the games we're going to be looking at today. But uh, is this a good a good fit? Is this a good idea? Well, at least we're getting. Um, that 
resolution squashed down so we have the whole screen filled up which is nice it actually looks and is very very smooth it looks very well i'm pretty damn surprised maybe if i could find a gun i'm just blabbing at the camera here but uh, i'm very surprised at how nice it looks and uh, i'm lucky the monitor that i ended up getting from the guy uh, was in fairly decent shape a lot of times these are so dim that you know you could go in here and control the brightness and you're never you know the, it is maxed out on this if we check here uh boom there we go brightness is at 100 contrast is at 100 and it's like just barely decent enough to be playing here but uh all in all uh it's actually a pretty sweet little setup oh fuck people are dying already because i'm just blabbing at the camera i don't even have a gun yet there we go oh there we go we got some nice guns going on here let's go see if we can help our, our teammates Ooh, squad, we're gonna we're gonna get you, squad. Oh, the robot killed somebody. Oh, I got a sweet gun for this, dude. God damn it, I fell down, of course. So yeah, we're playing Apex Legends at 20, uh, 1280 by 1024 on what would appear to be a pretty retro system. But I'll show you what's inside, and then we can talk a bit about the decisions I made and why I set the PC up like this. So, um, first off, glare like a crazy motherfucker. This is not uh, a flat screen, and I think that th it got a little bit better with some matte slash like tr sort of flat glass. Uh, but this thing definitely has a, f a fairly decent curve on it, but it's by no means the worst I've seen on a CRT monitor. But uh, if we can ever get to Windows here, I want to leave desktop, yes. Boom. The reason why I went with the i7-860 is because, check this out. Boom. It has the connections to hook the floppy up, which I thought was an important part. And what's on the floppy, you ask? Well, we'll load up the TPS report on the floppy. See? Access! <laughs> and it works awesomely. And then it was really hard for me to find a beige CD-ROM. If you've been following along on my Patreon, where I've been kind of doing detailing the steps on the way with this, uh, I had the case for a long time. It had an original, uh, I think, a 800 megahertz Duron in it. I bought it from a guy like two years ago, and I think he even had monitors at the time, so I wish I would have done something. But here, let's uh, Bill Lumberg. Uh, we'll say, uh, what was the, th give me, ah, this is a crappy keyboard, me back my sta stapler, and we hit save, poof, it's saving on the floppy, <laughs> isn't that awesome, and then, of course, uh, I, I had to actually spray paint a CD-ROM, and I went and found an exact match to the case, so it looks pretty good, although well, the case, you know, might have, could, be a little bit lighter. I think that it's kind of de degraded over time, but it's a really clean case. And uh, of course, I've loaded up a Windows 8 CD because why not? And it should autoplay. There we go. DVD drive. Woo! 64 bit. And we'll listen to that sweet, beautiful chin music from the CD ROM. I like that. But we, we even have the, the floppy disk activating right now. And I'll, I'll, uh, speaking of sounds, CD-ROMs are so annoying. It sounds like a goddamn biplane. It sounds like there is a drone above my house. There we go. That's why I keep that out of there, because it keeps spinning up. Uh, menu, and we go down here, and of course, I know you're waiting for this. Watch this. Oh. The sweet music of a D gauze on a monitor. I bet you haven't heard that in a while. I bet you haven't heard that in a while. So before we take the computer apart, let's just play Fortnite because I don't know, just for just for fun. Now I would like to know if I should take this case, and I really like this case. I don't know if I want to bust it up, but would it be worth doing the the like a Linus Tech Tips style sleeper in this thing? whereby you have like a, a fully water-cooled 
PC and you know maybe we could just take the the, the front parts of a CD-ROM and a, a floppy disk and or maybe I could find a way to adapt the floppy to SATA or something I, I've been looking into that not really an easy way and you can definitely find I have a USB floppy drive but it doesn't fit in here the same way at all so you'd have to do some modding and it's black as well so we gotta have beige but um battle royale I, I love the way that this is like modern hardware ish and everything works like I can't think I, I got everything to work and my only beige thing I'm missing I have a beige keyboard the only problem with this motherboard is that it only has one PS2 slot, so I can't load up my IntelliMouse and the beige keyboard. It'd probably be pretty easy to find a USB beige keyboard, so I'll probably do that. Uh, but I have an original trackball. You know, it actually came with the computer. Uh, actually, both of these peripherals came with the computer, but and uh, I definitely could find some beige speakers. These are just some Logitech. You have to have like external speakers with a computer like this, am I right? Love to get some guns up in this. We'll put up the volume just a bit yeah, yeah, so we can hear the, the nine-year-olds. They're going to be so happy that they're on YouTube playing Fortnite on a CRT monitor. Oh, we need some wood. How about a gun? How about a gun, eh? Seriously, where is there a gun? So I didn't put uh, like uh, MSI Afterburner on to see the this, this stats because I didn't really care. But we're getting 120 FPS on this thing. So this is like the smoothest experience. And I know that there are definitely like 75 and 85 hertz monitors. This one's actually running at 65 hertz. And that's why on this camera angle here, it looks like crap because my refresh rate on my camera is not matching up with the refresh rate on the monitor. But this one actually looks pretty good and there's only a slight little ch because that one's running at uh, 60 frames a second and this is running at 65. So I couldn't match the frame rate up exactly, but it's pretty close. So. As far as actually doing this and gaming on it, do I recommend it? Well, not at all. Uh, unless somehow you could get your hands on like a 20 or a 19 inch, whatever, 20 inch, 19 inch viewable ViewSonic monitor that was in really good shape. There are definitely some, oh, there, there's people shooting at me over here. I'm gonna see if I can't go over here and. <laughs> ah, dying right away, anyways. See, it's getting pretty, pretty loud back here. And there's definitely some warmth exiting the computer. But uh, here, I'll go ahead and get set up so we can look at the internals that I created for this monstrosity. Uh, and uh, I would say, actually, what I want to do here, real quick. There we go, multiple frame rates. Sync the C64, 65, syncing initially, there we go. So this actually looks pretty stable compared to when you run it on a 60 hertz uh, LCD monitor or like a standard gaming monitor. And it just goes to show that the 60 hertz refresh rate on this monitor on a CRT is pretty smooth and buttery compared to its uh, LCD and uh, TN panel cousins and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and shut down and I'll show you the internals of this bad boy. <sighs> It's a, can you read that? Compu Memories case. Compu Memories, that's just lovely. The old slide technique, very warm, <laughs> very warm. I would say that we're not doing the hardware in here any favors. I would definitely need to hook up some sort of fans to this a different way. But um, yeah, I think that this looks very, very smart. Uh, in here. So we have a lovely Enermax R, uh, Revolution, sorry, DF. Uh, it's, an, it's a really good 650 watt power supply modular and it does that thing where it spins the, uh, the fan backwards to blow the dust out of it. We have uh, the uh, Gigabyte GAP55. I did this uh, review on this i7-860 uh, before and I had to change the cooler down which doesn't feel too warm so the CPU definitely the power supply feels the hottest which is weird um, not enough ventilation in here but as you can see like aside from on this 
There's a little bit of, you know, area for the air to pull in. There is no air intaking from any sort of fans. So we have uh, the blower, which is only, it's grabbing air, I guess, pr probably a little bit better off here from the uh, this side here, but there, wh where's the air coming from in here for the CPU? Like, there, <laughs> there's no intake for the air. Now, I don't know what this plastic bit in here is for. It looks like it's actually for like a speaker. I don't know if I can take it out easily. There we go. Yeah, you could, It's it's got a PC speaker in it that's just a little one, but, like, it's actually a little bit dusty in there still. Uh, I, you could probably fit a fan in this, and then there is a spot on this side, like uh, some grating, so that you could pull some air in there. Might be better off just to get rid of this thing and then put the, the fan in there, but we'll just leave it as is for now. So, all in all, I think it's pretty dang cool uh, to set the a computer up like this, but, you know, is it practical? I want beige to be the new RGB. That's what I was thinking. Uh, so I would like to put more modern hardware in here, but I'd have to Jimmy rig a way to get the CD-ROM to uh, work in the floppy because I like the idea of that, not just pretending they're in there. But uh, if, if we wanted to do a fully sleepered out case, I'd probably want to gut this stuff in here or I don't know, figure something out and if you're gonna like water cool it and black out the inside of this case. And I think it's it's a shame to use this case for this purpose. So I might do it, I keep this like this for now and uh, wait until I find another case that I don't mind bastardizing a little bit because this is definitely a cool case to throw like a 386 in or something like that, but it's of the era that the, it's an ATX case. It fits an ATX motherboard perfectly. It's got a little motherboard tray in it actually. And you can see here I'm building the PC. It's a fairly straightforward build because there's nothing in the way. The only problem is that the CD-ROM and hard drive bays are kind of in an awkward spot to get any sort of airflow to the, uh, like I guess you could put a fan some sort of fan here against that grate, but there's just not a lot of opportunity for air to come in this thing, and it blows out a little section grate at the back here, and you know, not, not, not such a great situation for the, this thing, so. I don't know, what do you guys think of my uh, opportunity? My, my opportunity, what do you guys think of my little project here? And if we're gonna make the video about gaming on a CRT, let's talk about some of the problems I'm doing so. Uh, number one, your game might not support 4x3, but it seemed like that wasn't really a problem once we figured out the Apex Legends thing. Uh, number two, CRTs are just so hard to get a hold of, especially in good condition, especially for a good price these days. Now I say that, but there's gotta be hundreds of them sitting in recycling, you know, uh, I, I know that our city here has a recycling center. You can go there and there's like a big sea container that they just fill with old TVs and stuff. And I've been in there and saw a nice CRT and the guy wouldn't let me take it because he said computers have information on them and you could take their information so we're not allowed to do that and I was like it's a monitor man there's no information on this thing and he's like no no we're not allowed to like I was like maybe I should have slipped him 20 bucks or something but I ended up paying $60 for this guy I ended up paying $60 for a Samtron because I put an ad out and the guy was nice enough to drive it to my house let me uh, make sure that it was in working condition enough for you know this project and it's just bright enough that I would say that the $60 is warranted considering uh, it was very hard to even find uh, a, a monitor in this condition at all on Kijiji and anything on eBay like I'm showing you the prices they're listing them or at least in my area is crazy and maybe you live near uh, you know a, a place where they do electronics recycling or computer you know recycling and you can go in there and pay 20 bucks for one then you're laughing but my ultimate dream would be to get a nice 20 inch view sonic that's got some low hours on it and that's gonna be a hard thing to come by because these things typically just were left on with screen savers running, you know, for, for, for days and days on end. And sleep wasn't really a thing back then, so unless people diligently turn their computers off, these things were just showing, you know, pipes or, you know, different geometrical shapes or pictures of, you know, cats or something like that 
as a screensaver. And uh, yeah, so all in all, I really dig the project. I think I'm gonna keep this thing around. It's a little bit too big to have set up all the time, but uh, I think I'm gonna find a different case for a sleeper. But if you wanna see a sleeper, let me know. And it, what would be cool about the sleeper in this thing is it's, it's old enough that it looks like it's a 386 or something like that. I've seen Linus do the ultimate sleeper build and it was in like a Dell P3 case that was stand up and was a little bit more modern. I think what would be cool about this thing is to make a, a hole in the top of this that is the exact circumference of the, um, the, the monitor stand so that you could have it on there and not see anything, but have a like plexiglass or something underneath that so that when you move the monitor, you can see inside and there'd be like RGB pouring out of it. But well, it's perfectly positioned on there. You can't really see anything. Uh, and then, you know, maybe develop an easy way to take this on and off, like on a, a hinge or something like that. So it's not quite as cumbersome and, uh, but, as it is, I don't really want to bastardize this case, so we'll see what, what comes up. So I'm at Watch TV Joe Instagram and Twitter. I've had a ball with this project, and I'm legitimately going to set this back up upstairs in my computer room. I didn't, I don't know why I set it up down here. There's so much echo. But, uh, and play some games on this and really have some fun because so far, so good. I played, uh, you know, a, a couple of games while I was getting, after I got this thing set up the other day and uh, I've legitimately enjoyed my time with this CRT monitor, even though it's completely unpractical and the, you know, it's got a low resolution. It doesn't look so bad though, as you saw from some of that footage, if it, if it kind of translated over to YouTube, but all in all, it's a really nice little setup. I really like it. So I'm not watching me join Scrum Twitter. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been me blathering for probably about 20 minutes, uh, at least about a computer and a CRT monitor. But this project is not finished. We will figure some way to go next level and you will see a CRT monitor and a, and a sleeper PC again. I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your CRTs and your Samtrons. Woo!